We have a small boat fleet. SPC primarily is made up of long line and trollers. Our fleet ranges from 70 feet long all the way down to 20 feet long. I am Norm Pillen. I am currently president of Seafood Producers Co-op. 40 years plus commercial fisherman. Started out hand lining out of a skiff with my stepfather fishing for halibut. And then I bought my first hand troller when I was 16. And I've been a member of SBC 35 years now. It feels like home. The company got started in 1944. It was during the war and fishermen felt like they weren't getting a fair shake on their pricing. A group of fishermen said, enough's enough. We need to do something for ourselves. And so they built the co-op. It started out as a halibut producers cooperative. My grandpa has been fishing since the co-op started and he was a firm believer in it. And my father, Alan, he's spent 35 plus years as a board member and everything, trying to keep this company afloat and going and making things work. And I just want to see it work for future generations. I got my six-year-old on board and someday maybe he'll want to do it. I like the freedom of being a fisherman, being my own boss, turn the radios off and just be in nature. Trolling just check the boxes a lot of the other fisheries, there, it's so much capital to get into. On a troller, I have a small crew, I have a pretty small overhead. I can choose to take the day off and go to the beach if that's what feels good to me and my family, or I can grind it out super hard so that feels good for my constitution. I have a husband, Graham, and a daughter going on three. Until this year, they've been with me on the boat all summer long. Mira, since she was a little baby, swinging in the boom, that was a lot easier than when she turned two and started <laughs> wielding the deck hose. I started as a sane deckhand in college. Always loved fish and the ocean. So yeah, it's a really appealing option for making a living. Alaska is known for our fisheries management. We have the best fisheries management in the world and our oceans show it, you know? Me being able to do this, show it. If it wasn't for our fisheries management, I wouldn't have a job. It's uh, been my experience that fishermen come to the table encouraging sustainability. We pay thousands of dollars to these different organizations for conservation, for our resource. That's our biggest thing, because without conservation, we don't have a resource. I don't have a job. Our community doesn't have SBC. Why conservation is, to me, it's a big thing, because I want my kid to be able to see these fish when he's older. It's a fisherman-owned company. The people that are selling their products to the co-op own the co-op. It's managed by fishermen. It has a board of directors that are members. So the idea that as being a fisherman, this is our business, right? It's kind of cool to be able to go and have our plant to sell to. This is something more than just showing up and giving your fish to whoever the highest buyer is. It's, we have pride in our company. This is my company. I own a piece of this. If the co-op wasn't there, I think that the regular corporate buyers might not be inclined to pay as much for the fish. But since the fishermen own the co-op, we obviously want to pay ourselves as much as possible. So I think the presence of the co-op helps keep prices higher than they might otherwise be. Um, so that's good for all the families that depend on fishing for their livelihood. We have a very high focus on quality. We have to. We want to build our markets. We want people to want to and prefer our fish. Really the way to do that is to provide a superior product and superior in a lot of ways, meaning just better quality, but also you know sustainably harvested and fresh. When I joined the company, you got a piece of paper that says these are our quality standards and if you want to be a member of SBC, you need to live up to these quality standards. I still have that piece of paper. It's important to me. And it really is, if we want to survive, then we we have to pay attention to that. Definitely the people at the co-op make it awesome. So like Norm is now the co-op president, but before that he was our tender and he's helped me out in my engine room a lot, giving us the pep talk when days are hard because he's been out there fishing for decades before. 
It's a, it's a good fleet. There's friends and mentors and the crew at the dock is always fun to see. Being part of SBC, it's a family. As cliche as it sounds, it's a family. I've known those guys and the graders up there in the ice mint since I was my son's age, you know? The guys at the top of the office to the guys on the lowest of the slime line. Like, that's, we're family and everybody take care of each other.